Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, today I'd like to talk about an um, important issue which is uh, misunderstood or misconstrued by many Muslims. I'm talking about the niya or intention. This is, um, first of all, if you do not really have intention in the night to uh, observe fasting the next day, according to the Prophet Muhammad, may Allah exalt his mention, you'll not be considered as fasting. That's why the Prophet وسلم, may Allah exalt his mention, said, مَن لَمْ يُبَيِّتْ النِّيَّةِ مِنَ اللَّيْلِ Whoso who does not um, make his intention to fast the next day, he would have no fast considered from him or accepted from him. Well, the question here, do we have to every night uh, to make that intention? Do we have to? Or um, to have one intention at the beginning of the month will be enough. We know that um, to do so is very important. And according to scholars, they said, some of them said it's okay if you have if you intend um, to observe fast uh, right from the first day of Ramadan, um, intending to, to fast uh, all of the month, Alhamdulillah, nothing wrong with that. Otherwise, you do it every night, or at least before Fajr. Okay, now, this is one side of it. The other side, that's why I said it is misconstrued and misunderstood by many Muslims. That is, some of them believe that he has, one of them has to say, I intend to fast tomorrow and this of the month of Ramadan, I mean verbally, in audible voice, which is, I don't say wrong, I say it's bid'ah, which is worse than wrong. Because, you see, our criterion is to know whether the Prophet Muhammad, may Allah exalt his mention, did that or he did not. That's why Allah says, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ وَسْوَةٌ حَسَنٍ You have the best example in the Messenger of Allah. In terms of what? In terms of everything. Now the question, did he voice out his intention for any act of worship for that matter? Never, never ever. None of his companions, none of his companions really uh, did that. Why? Because the intention is in the heart. Okay, well, let's put it in other words, it's in the mind. Okay, if you intend to do something, it's in your mind. Now, um, because some people, even when they stand for prayer, before they, they keep mumbling for a while, one of them was doing that. I, I, I wondered, you know, what, what's the problem, you know? <laughs> before, he says, before he said, Allahu Akbar. Well, what's the problem? And when I asked him after salah, I said, well, I make my intention. I said, what do you mean? What do you say? I intend to perform for rakah, dhuhr, prayer, ball, behind the imam for that day and this. I said, where did you get this from? Did the Prophet Muhammad ever instructed or did it himself? Did he ever do it himself? Did he ever instruct it? No. That means there is no good in it at all. You see, because whatever, the, whatever you do, things that the Prophet Muhammad, may Allah exalt his mention, neither instructed nor did, you're not going to be rewarded for it. Not only that, probably you will be punished for it. You see, because you, are, you have introduced something new into Islam. And whoever, introduce, whoever introduces anything in Islam is going to be punished. You know what does that mean? That means I know better than the Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad, may Allah exalt his mention, did not tell us this. I know it. You see, this is, this is the, a major sin. You see, it's a major sin. Because according to Imam Shafi, he said, the one who introduces a bid'ah and he thinks it is good, he will be pointing his finger at the Prophet Muhammad, may Allah exalt his mention. Do you know what does that mean? It means you are accusing the Prophet that he did not convey the message of Islam in full. And whoever believes that, wow, he might be thrown out of the folds of Islam. 
is not is not bad enough Achhi, listen when you um, decide to um, uh, uh, observe fasting the day of Ramadan or all the days of Ramadan I want to ask you a question why do you get up before Fajr and have a meal why you would say because this is Zahur because tomorrow I'm going to fast this is your intention you don't have to say I intend to fast and this and that this is your intention likewise when you get up and start performing ablution or wudu why you say I want to perform salah this is your intention you know I mean you 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 expressed your intention practically you know for for salah you went and performed wudu for fasting you get up um, before Fajr in order to have that pre-dawn meal which is Zuhur uh, this is more than enough أخي. it is more than enough remember deeds are considered or judged by intention but not verbally the intention is whatever you have in your mind you determine to do something this is your intention you don't have to express it in words I intend to do this I intend to do that. moreover by the way when you do that standing in salah you'll be uh, ready for Dhuhr prayer and you start talk, you know voicing out this you say I intend to perform two rakat fajr prayer believe it or not it happens to many who voice out their intention and they find themselves instead of saying I want to perform Dhuhr prayer uh, during Dhuhr prayer I'll find him perform, uh, saying he wants to uh, uh, perform Fajr prayer. And this is the work of Shaitan. Keep this in mind. May Allah help you benefit from these words, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.